Today, I'm going to tell you about the Nobel Prize in Chemistry this year that went to the Swede Thomas Lindahl for the discovery of DNA repair. So what did Thomas do? Well, he isolated DNA in the test tube that we do in the lab every day. And then he put it on the bench and left it there, came back a couple of days later and saw the DNA was broken. But if the DNA is broken, then the cell needs to find a way to repair the DNA. So that is what I'm going to tell you about. So, what Thomas discovered was proteins, DNA glycosylases. So these ones, they can identify in the DNA where the damaged bases are, where you have a broken or damaged base. It goes here, root it up, and then it cuts out and take away the uracil with itself. So it cut out the uracil and go away. And in that way, it can repair and leave an intact DNA. Now, we're in the cell lab. So, here we have cancer cells. How is DNA repair important for cancer cells? Many cancer cells have lost DNA repair genes, so they cannot repair their DNA, and they accumulate mutations that makes the cancer. So, DNA repair is very important in cancer cells. So how is this relevant for treatment? In cancer cells, they have lost the repair path. They, there we go. And they only rely on two remaining pathways. So if you take away one of the pathways with an inhibitor, the cancer cells die because they cannot sustain and repair the DNA only on one. So in that way, we can treat the cancer. But the normal cells, they still have two remaining. So they will survive. Only the cancer die. 